Hi boys and girls, it's now been four weeks since my hair transplant, my second hair transplant I had. So I had the first one three and a half years ago, December 2018, and now it's May 2022. So I had the second and the first one at Dr. Zinnick. The second one, as you know, was in the newer clinic. So let's take a look. So this is basically what four weeks of growth has looked like. And it's all going well. For some reason I don't ever seem to shed. A lot of people when they've had a hair transplant shed their hair, it falls out and then regrows. My first one I didn't shed hardly at all. I've spotted a few hairs in the sink because the hair's so short I just wash it over the sink every day at the moment. And they could be a few that are shedding but it could just be normal hair loss that you get every day. Everyone loses some hair every day. So I'm pleased with it. It's going really well. I'm just going to let it grow on top. It starts getting a bit bushy on the sides and back so I might shave those at some point if my hair gets like bigger because it just sort of goes outwards. Yeah I'm really pleased at the moment. Some of you have been sort of leaving comments and asking questions so I'll try and answer as many as I can. Some people are saying is the hair lighter where they've transplanted it? I'd say it's not actually lighter it's just that this is called the ugly duckling stage where bits are growing at sort of different speeds and your, your sort of your native hair which for me is like the side bits they look darker but it's not actually that they're darker it's just that it's less dense in the area like in the middle and and the front because with your transplanted hair it's, it's never going to be quite as dense as the rest of it which is another reason I don't normally shave mine down to lower than a grade two on top because otherwise you can sort of see it's it's lighter not the hair color but just because it's slightly less dense so I normally let it grow a bit longer and then you, you can't see it at all. I've noticed there's a, like a little line there and I was wondering what that was but then I remember I've got a scar down there where something fell on me once and it's it's always been like that but yeah so far it's coming along really well if I put my hand on the crown area you can feel it's like lots of little spikes so hopefully they're all hairs that are sort of bursting through but yeah this is the stage where sort of things grow at different speeds it's you just have to sort of get past this stage and when everything's sort of growing back to normal and it sort of looks good I'm really pleased with it so far it's going really well the crowns taking really well crown some people say it takes the same amount of time for me it seemed to take a lot longer the first time the crown area it just you know some people say it does nothing to massage but I'm constantly just like when I'm watching TV just massaging don't use your fingernails but just use the palm of your hand and I just think it gets blood to the area gets the blood supply going so it for me it sort of seems to help it grow. In this vid I'm again trying to make them shorter because I know sometimes I go on and on. I wanted to talk about the differences between my first and my second op. So obviously you know it's the same Dr. Cynic but it was in a different clinic. I spoke about the differences between the clinic in my last vid so I won't talk about that this time. But my hair transplant, the first one you know I was quite nervous. The second one yeah you're going to feel some nerves, you're going to be nervous but I think it's easier because you know what's going to happen you, your mind's not as nervous as what you were the first time because you just know the whole process and it's more, I wouldn't say relaxing but I, I was quite relaxed, I was kind of enjoying it and that's what I'd say, try not to get nervous I know it's easier said than done you know, if, if, if hair transplants were that bad people wouldn't go back for a second one so you know I went back it's fine I found it probably easier the second time just because I knew what was going to happen so it's, it's the same sort of thing difference is I had an ECG this time which they didn't do last time so that started 
Um, I mentioned some of the differences between the clinic, the old one and the new one, so there was a few differences like that. This time I've, I would say I've healed so much faster, literally on top, it's just the feelings back straight away, all, all feeling throughout. It's not, there's not areas that I can't feel, they're just completely fine. It's just really healed and I'm not sure if it was a sapphire blade or what it was, but it certainly healed faster than the other one. The other thing was no swelling. I've had no swelling in my face, maybe just after the op for a day or two. But if you remember last time, my head was like really swollen because I kept the headband on for ages. And last time I was sleeping, sitting up like that. This time I just had my neck pillow on and one pillow put the neck pillow on the pillow and just lied like that. I didn't go on my sides at all, it was just lying flat on my back, which some people find hard, but I was fine like that. And it really did help stop the swelling in my face or around my eyes. It, it worked really well. I was literally sort of, I flew out on the Thursday, had the op on the Friday, Good Friday. Easter Monday was bank holiday, so I was back to work on the Tuesday. But I'm working from home, so it's a bit easier for me. The bit they did, they topped up the front and they did the crown this time. So if I kind of go over my head like with my fingers, you can feel that the air is still a little bit red, a little bit tender, a bit swollen. But as the hair grows, you just don't see the redness. It, it kind of goes and the redness can stay there for a, a few months, but it seems to be going quite quickly. So that's all good news. One thing I... The thing I find hardest, and I know a lot of people think it will be the injections, but for me that's not the case. For me it's lying on your stomach when they're doing the back of your head and taking the grafts and things like that. I found that quite hard, sitting in, lying with your face down in the same position for a long time. They got those, they're like massage beds where it's got a space to put your face, but you know that's that's what I find probably the least comfortable bit. You kind of feel excited because you you're excited about what what it's going to look like. You know you're going to have hair where you've not had it for a while. And in my next video when I do a, a catch up, I want to discuss how the hair transplants or makes you feel, how it gives you confidence, that sort of thing. It, it's not just the, the look of it, obviously you're getting hair, that's the main reason you're getting it done. But there's so many other little factors that it, it, it really does make you feel good. I've, I've got to give some photos because the clinic, they ask, they send you a, a WhatsApp and it's they sort of assign you a person to look after you. So if you've got any questions, you can WhatsApp them, you know, they, they'll get back to you and tell you if, if you've got any concerns or anything like that, you can send them photos. For me, because I kind of know what to expect, so I've I sent them the photos on day seven, photos on day ten, and they asked if I could send photos uh, the first month. So that's like now. So I'm going to take some photos in a bit, just using my phone and selfies, and get someone to take the picture of the back. And yeah, you just send your photos off to the clinic, and they'll come back to you and sort of say, yeah, this is looking good, or maybe do this, maybe do that. Um, the first time I sent my photos, they said, can you try and get rid of the scabs by day 10? So I, I did that. That's another point. I'm washing my hair every day at the moment. It's I'm using the Dr. Cynic shampoo that they gave us. And yeah, it's fine. It's, it's really sort of smooth. It's like baby shampoo. It's, it's got no harsh chemicals or anything like that. It's, it's just really sort of nice for your hair. A lot of people ask me about shampoo. I've got the Dr. Cynic one, like I said, I'm just going to keep using that till it runs out. You know, I, d I don't like wasting things, so and there's no point in swapping to something else when I've still got loads left. So I'm, I'm going to use that at the moment. Otherwise, you know, once sort of six months later, it's, it's up to you what shampoo you use, really. There's no shampoo that's going to grow your hair. If that was the case, we wouldn't have hair transplants. So, you know, just... Go for something that's easy, choose whatever you want really. After about six months you can, you can just use whatever. I sometimes just use the cheap supermarket shampoo. Yeah, so it's, it's all going well. The donor areas are feeling fine. If I turn like that, hopefully you can see it okay. So 
Yeah, it's, I'm really pleased. It's it's going well. Obviously, the transplanted bits are sort of starting to grow. And like I said, I don't know why I don't shed. Not everyone does. Some people are lucky. Maybe I have a, a little bit. Um, maybe out of the crown a little bit. But overall, I'm just really pleased because it, it seems to grow pretty quickly. When I go out at the moment, it's May, so it's it's getting towards summer. I, if it's sunny out, then I, I put a, a, like a beanie hat or a baseball cap on to keep the area covered because, you know, you don't want to get sunburn or anything like that because not good for you and, you know, it really hurt with the skin being so tender. Skin on top's fine. Around the back, where they took the grafts from, it kind of, it feels a little sort of tight it's not it's not pain it's not sore it's just I'd, I'd describe it as tightness like it feels like the skin's been sort of stretched and you don't feel it normally like now but if you look like that and the, the back of the head creases the skin that you can sort of feel it then but it doesn't feel awkward it just feels or if you're on a sofa or something you put your head back on a cushion then you can feel it but it doesn't feel bad it just feels Basically, you, you can just tell that something's been done to it. And it, it's itched a few times, so I put some aloe vera gel on. I seem to have a few little spots at the back, but again, it's just part of um, the process. I've had, on my first transplant, I've not had them this time, but on the top, I, I had some pretty big sort of spots. I don't know if they were ingrown hairs, but I just kept cleaning my hair. Uh, washing it and they eventually just went away on their own it took a while some took like weeks or even months but they they just went away so you know if you're ever unsure though take some photos send them off to the clinic they'll get back to you and they'll tell you what to do but apart from that it's all going well I'm really pleased with it like I said in my next video I'll try and talk about some other subjects if you've got any questions leave them in a comment below i do try and answer near enough everyone if i don't reply one might have got missing so just leave another comment and i'll always try and get back to you i know a lot of you have been having your hair done very recently um, i saw on dr cynic's website he had um, a famous i think it's an ex-liverpool footballer I'm not really into football tons myself, but I know Dr. Sinek is. So yeah, they had a guy in the clinic this week. I think it was his mate who was getting the hair transplant. I think he said to his mate if he if Liverpool got through to the final, then he would take his mate to get his hair done. So that was kind of cool to watch that. Um I was watching it on their Instagram and things like that. So yeah, it was really good. You know, there's, there's a lot of famous people getting hair transplants done. If you know of anyone famous, put a comment below. We, we sometimes have discussions about this on the Facebook group that I'm in. And, you know, we, we try and decide which famous people have had hair transplants and which ones haven't. And a lot of names come up. So if you know someone who's definitely had a hair transplant, feel free to leave a comment. And talking about the Facebook group, feel free to join it. It's a good, fun group. There's a really good atmosphere. It's kind of like a, a really supportive atmosphere, you know, we don't allow sort of sarcasm or anyone who's going to have a dig at you or anything like that. You're free to sort of chat about whatever you want really. It's not just hair, we talk about teeth, about health, about anything really. Do lots of little random polls just to see your view on things, how you like things. And, you know, it's a really good group, so I'll leave a link to that below if you fancy joining it i know a lot of you are already in it at the moment so but yeah that's so that's a month really that's what you can expect from month but don't always base your hair on someone else you know because it's mine's growing this much some might grow faster some might grow slower a lot of people like i said shed for the first three months and then you know it just looks bald and then it will start growing all of a sudden and so, you know, that's why you, you've got to hang on for a year to 18 months to see the actual result. It's, it's great when it does start sprouting out, though, and it, it just feels really good. So I'd stayed an extra night this time in Turkey. But apart from that, it was 
pretty similar to before. It was just more, like I said, more relaxing for me because I knew the whole process. I knew what was going to be done when they shaved the hair. I knew what the needles felt like. I know what the graft extractions, what, what that's like and what it sounds like. Um, and, you know, when they're doing the implanting, like I said, most of the time when they're doing the implanting, I was literally dozing off. They kept saying to me, sit still, because I think I was just like dozing off because they give you this tablet that sort of relaxes you. And I do just fall asleep quite easily. <laughs> so, but apart from that, it, it's, it's gone well. It's, you know, like I said, I was sort of a bit dubious about having a second dog. So I was thinking, you know, should I just stick with the first? But I'm glad I've done it now. So, yeah, this is op number two. If you remember, op number one was 3,300 graphs around about, uh, concentrating on the front. This time around, it was 3,400-ish, um, concentrating on the crown area at the back. Plus, they've used about 500 in the front, just to top it up. So, I'm excited to see the results. So, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them below. And I hope your hair's all going well. Cheers.